Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video we are going to see how to find area under any curve using definite integral. In the previous video we have seen how to draw the graphs of different standard function. So using those equation we are going to find first the diagram or the graph of the given function and then we are going to find its area with respect to any of the x's. For example in the definite integration we have two formulas. First is integral y dx and second one is integral x dy. Both the formulas are used to find area under the curve now when to use this formula if we have a curve and the question is asked to find area with respect to x axis therefore we are going to use the formula integral y dx and similarly if the question is asked find the area with respect to y axis then you need to go for the formula integral x dy so let us see problem number one Find the area under the curve y is equal to x square from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 3 with x axis. Now in this case you can see the given curve y is equal to x square represents a parabola as one is linear and another one is quadratic. At the same time x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 3 will represent a line on a graph paper. So let us try to draw the graph first. Now to draw the graph of parabola we have y is equal to x square so in this case you need to check which variable is having minimum power you can see the power of y is 1 and the power of x is 2 so the minimum power will be with y after that you need to check the sign of y if it is positive then we will go for positive direction of y axis so first check the variable whose power is minimum and in that direction we need to draw the parabola and at the same time check its sign also since y is positive we will go for positive direction of y axis so this is our parabola y is equal to x square now x is equal to 0 is an equation of y axis so this is y axis and its equation is x is equal to 0 the next equation is x is equal to 3. So this line will pass through the point 3 comma 0 which is on x axis. So x is equal to 3 is a line which will pass through the point 3 comma 0. Now the question is asked find the area under the curve. So the curve is parabola. Under the curve means below it. From x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 3 with x axis. So the question is specifically asked to find the area with respect to x axis. So you can see I need to select a region in which x axis the line x is equal to 0 the line x is equal to 3 and a parabola y is equal to x square. Each of this will contribute to the area. As you can see in the shaded part this is our line which is x axis. The area is under parabola. Also, the line x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 0 are contributing to this shaded part. Now, to find this area, we need to find the value of x here. As we are going to use the formula integral y dx, the area to find this region will be integral y dx. Therefore, we must understand that what are the limits of x from x is starting to where x is ending. So, as you can see, the region we have started where the value of x is 0 and the region where it is ended the value of x is 3 so the limits of x will be from 0 to 3 as we know area is equal to integral y dx where the limits of x will be from 0 to 3 the value of y would be found out from the equation of curve as the area is below the curve so we have equation of curve as y is equal to x square from that you need to pick the value of y as y is equal to x square we can directly put y as x square dx so let us solve this integral further in order to get the area of this curve we know that integral of x square is x cube upon 3 within limits 0 to 3 on substituting upper limit and lower limit we have 3 cube upon 3 minus 0 cube upon 3 3 cube 27 upon 3 and 0 cube will give you 0 upon 3 that is 0 
now 27 upon 3 will give you 9 so area of that region will be 9 square units this is our final answer i hope friends you have understood this problem thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikida and subscribe to ikida